Hey YouTubers, gonna do a review slash comparison of these two phones. So unlike a lot of reviews out there where the person has just gotten the phone and is not very familiar with it, or is basically spitting out stuff that you could get off of the internet or um, just going through the settings on the phone, um, we're not gonna really go that way here. I'm going to spit out some of the technical specs on this um, just because you don't uh, you don't want to have to go to another video. Um, so that said, we have here on the right is the Galaxy J3 Luna Pro. On the left, the Galaxy J7 Sky Pro. Main differences you're going to find: this guy, $99 usually. This guy is 49 or 59. Um, both these phones you can get discounted. This one sometimes is free with a plan purchase, which is friggin' nice. Um, where you know can you get that these days for a month-to-month uh, -month phone plan? This guy, cheapest I've seen it with the discount is $50, and uh, currently they're running. TW25 off will get you 25% off, so you can get that for $75. All right, so the phones themselves, 5.5-inch screen, 5-inch screen. Both are 720p. We're recording in 4K here, so hopefully you get an idea of the, the quality of those screens. Um, considering they're only HD, they're actually pretty good uh, pictures on them. And... Uh, here, you know, what I'm looking at is going to be better than what you see on the on the screen. Now, the um, so 720p is basically somewhere between DVD quality and 1080p, uh, which is Blu-ray quality, HDX, depending on what terminology you want to use for it. Now, weight-wise, uh, they were within uh, about an ounce of each other, if I remember correctly. This was a little over five ounces, and this was, I think, 4.5. So, um, not too big a deal. Now, I brought a pair of uh, my woman's jeans here, jean shorts, just so I could show you. If you're a female and you buy this phone, this with that is without a case. Put that in your back pocket. Um, both of these are uh, going to stick out. This one not as bad, obviously, right? Now if we check the front pockets, that's what they're going to look like in the front pocket. So obviously uh, not a phone if you're a female that you're going to be able to stick in your, uh, your pockets as well. Me personally, um, in my jeans and my pants, these have no problem fitting in the front pocket. Now, as far as making phone calls with these, um, there are times I, I have problems hearing people on the other end. So I, I do think uh, the speaker itself, when you're on a phone call, could be improved. When you have it on a speakerphone, um, it's not, not too bad. I won't complain there. Sometimes the folks on the other end have issues with, uh, with hearing you, but I think that's pretty common with, with most cell phones. Uh, both of these, at least this guy here, let's go make sure we get the technical specs right. 16 gigs of internal memory in your J3 should also have 16 gigs of internal memory. And even though that's that's a nice number, um, there it is right there. Even though 16 gigs is pretty nice, you'll want a um, probably to add a micro SD card. In my opinion, uh, 16 gigs isn't really enough at all for cell phones. They need to start with at least 32. You find once you start adding apps on there that before you know it, you are completely um, out of space. You're always getting this message. Ah, uh, you know, clear up space. That can drive you nuts. Um, 
So 32 would be a really nice base number for internal memory. And then still adding a micro SD card if you're going to take a lot of pictures or if you're going to listen to music or you have uh, videos downloaded. So obviously these are both Wi-Fi capable. They're uh, both running Android 6.0 Marshmallow. The battery talk time is pretty good in both of these. Surprisingly this big boy is 31 where this guy is 25. And I gotta say they la seem to last forever. No problems using GPS with these. Always uh, you know, got from point A to point B, so that, that was always a plus. And uh, never really played too many games on them. Um, the, the screens have a nice uh, feel to them, nice uh, feedback with the touch. So that, that was always a, uh, a good thing. Um, but that's about all in this video that I want to talk about. Uh, appreciate you checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.